Hello and welcome to part one of a multi-part series about my Dell Latitude E5430 laptop. This particular laptop is number two of two identical laptops that I purchased for five dollars each. These were from a school. The first one overheated and died. Let's start from the beginning. They came without a hard drive, had an i3 dual core processor, 2 gig of RAM and HD 3000 graphics. I upgraded it to 8 gig of RAM and installed Windows 10 on a 256 gigabyte Samsung SSD. Its primary purpose is a lounge room laptop used for web browsing and games, mostly classic stuff on Steam that will run on a HD 3000. That was all good and it ran fine for what I needed it for. Then came Minecraft. Minecraft ran okay, but there was a warning on the screen about how they would soon stop supporting the graphics card. About the same time I ran a benchmark on the laptop and upgraded the CPU to an i5 and it ran much faster. After this I went searching through my dead laptop collection and found an i7. This is where things got interesting. Looking at the CPU Z stats pages for the first time in at least 10 years, I saw it. Intel HD 3000 graphics. I hadn't thought much about what integrated graphics actually meant. In fact, I assumed it meant it was integrated into the chipset. How wrong was I? Another look through the dead laptop pile and I found an i7 with HD 4000. What a find. A half hour Google search confirmed the i7 2.3 GHz 3610 QM CPU was not supported but would still run. I probably would have tried anyway. I installed the CPU and the laptop's benchmarks went through the roof. Not only that, but its fan was running hard. The really bad part was the chipset was too hot to touch. Worse yet, after running a few benchmarks, I decided it was okay and ignored the obvious problem. A week later, it died. That's it for part one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in for part two. Thanks for watching.